Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So today I am in Santorini, Greece. I'm so excited. This port is literally the entire reason mom and I booked this cruise and we are super excited. So as you can see, Santorini, you will take a water ferry. There they are over to the port and then you have to go up the stairs either walk up the stairs there's a cable car or the traditional way by donkey we are not doing any of those however we booked a tour that skips the stairs altogether because we heard very slippery they take a very long time and they're a little difficult which mom was worried about instead the tour that we booked is going to pick us up by dock on the same dock that our water ferry takes us to and take us by a boat to the other port where we will be able to take a bus through both towns up in Santorini. So we're going to be uh, skipping the long, the long walk altogether, which I'm a little sad about. Honestly, I would have liked to do the donkeys, but mom said no, she just, she could not handle it. So. Either way, we are going to show you all the fun steps. I had to get up this morning at 6 a.m. to get a ticket for the water shuttle because you have to get off the boat pretty quick to do some of these excursions. It's not a carnival excursion that we're booked on. If you are booked on a carnival excursion, you will get one of the first water taxis. Carnival will get you right off the ship and over to Santorini. But since we are not doing a uh, carnival excursion, we have to make our own way over there. Getting up at 6 a.m. though, we still got zone five. So hopefully everybody on our excursion make it over to the island with more than enough time to make it to the excursion. Either way, I'm very excited. So let's go. There's the water ferries. You can see there are two of them. And we will be going all the way over. Santorini. Got off the shuttle, and here, this whole gaggle of people is our tour group. So now we gotta wait to get on our boat. All right, we are on the shuttle, first part of the tour. 
it's supposed to be for 200 people, but it's 100, and then another shuttle's coming for the second. So we are going from the old port in Santorini to the new port. Yes. We'll be taking a bus um, to Oa and Thera. And Thera, yeah. Both of the cities, the main cities on Santorini, without having to go up the donkey stairs. No donkeys for me. I want to ride a donkey, darn it. Let's go ahead and see how long this is. I don't know. Coming into the port, and you can see the switchbacks here that go all the way up and are big enough for buses and cars here at the new port. So that's what we're going to be going up instead of the donkeys on our bus. It's still tight. There's all the buses. Everybody off the ship and on to a bus. So we can go up to the switchbacks. <laughs> you are very lucky. The weather is fantastic. Perfect. So, one question. Everyone from Sandra's tours, right? Yes. No, shore excursions. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't do this to me. So, please, please. Sandra. So, I am Joanna. I am your guide. But let me tell you what, I'm also a sommelier with a diploma in wines. And I'm saying yes. Thank you. Yes. And I'm saying this because we are visiting a winery. I'm huh? sticking by you. So <laughs> the name of our driver is Antonis. Antonis. He's a very good driver. I'm, I'm telling you this because we have to go up on 250 meters. Is anyone scared? I hope not, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm so, I'm just not thinking. Everybody, welcome to Santorini. Yay. Welcome to this beautiful volcanic island. First of all, we are going to visit the most touristic, the most iconic village of Santorini, which is called Ia. We ride Boya. Nevertheless, we say Ia because O and I sometimes form an E to make your lives easy. Just remember this. Ia, Ia, O. This is the village. Okay? Ia, Ia, O. That's Ia, Ia, O. Straight on the left. Behind the cruise So first we go to Ia. And then we are visiting the capital of Santorini, which is Fira, F-I-R-A, Fira. After Fira, guess what? We are going to the winery to taste wine. Okay? And you are not just going to taste wines, you're going to taste your wines, precious wines, on 300 meters, huh? The view is breathtaking at the winery. While we are inside the bus, I'm going to tell you everything you have to go to, you have to know about Santorini. Uh, you can ask me 
anything you want, okay? I promise you I'm not going to become the boring guide, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do my best so nobody sleeps, you know, gets bored or something. And anything you want, just ask me. I'm here to make you happy, okay? So, let's start, everybody. Santorini. Santo, Santorini means Santa Irini because Irini is a name, Irene. So the island is called actually Saint Irene. Why? Because on the 13th century AD, the Venetians arrived here. Of course, they fell in love with the island. So they just decided to stay here, to live here. So they were, you know, exploring the island and they discovered a very small church dedicated to Santa Irini. So they said, okay, that's it. Santa Irini, Santorini. So this is what Santorini means. But my ladies, I want my ladies to listen to this. This island has another name, a very old name, which is the following, Kalisti with a K. You know what this means, my ladies? The most beautiful woman in the whole world. So remember this. If a Greek man tells you, oh my dear, you are such a Kalisti, this means, oh my dear, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Kalisti. Kalisti. <laughs> Parenthesis, don't believe Greek men, my ladies. <laughs> you know? He said that I would start not, to laugh. I'm not married. I'm not married and I'm Greek, I'm telling you. But in any case, just remember this. Men have to call you Kalisti here. So this is the first name of Santorini, the most beautiful woman in the world. Look at Santorini. Can you all see the map? Can everybody see the map? Yes. So, once again, I'm going to make your lives easy because, in my opinion, Santorini looks like a huge croissant. Yes. Doesn't it? Yes. So, we are here and we are going up there. Okay, so this is Santorini. In my opinion, I repeat, it looks like a huge croissant. But it's not covered with chocolate. It's covered with volcanic materials, with lava, with ashes, with solidified ashes, pami stones, red stones, and various kinds of volcanic materials. Please, the first island that you see, the first one, is the island where the crater of the volcano is. I repeat, the crater of the volcano is on the first island that you see on your left. The eruption of the volcano happened in 1612 BC, around 1612 BC. And guess what? It was equal, equal to 37 Hiroshima bombs. So this was just, uh, this was not just an eruption, this was a super eruption. Actually, the island split apart. That's why it looks like a croissant. I'll make you laugh. Before the eruption of the volcano, Santorini looked like a donut. It was a cyclical <laughs> island with a volcano in the middle. After the eruption of the volcano, the island split apart, so now it looks like a croissant. I think this is a, the best way for you to remember the geology, the shape of Santorini. Everything clear so far? Yeah. Thank you very much. We are going up with Antonis, our driver. We are going on 250 meters. And on your left, you can very clearly see the volcanic soil of Santorini, which looks, which is actually pumice stone. This is very light and very, very soft. Inside this pumice soil, as you can see, there are black stones. All these stones yeah. have fallen right from the sky. This is the first Blue Dome Church 
that you that the uh, our guests see it's called sand Pantelemonas, don't try to repeat the name, is an Orthodox Church, an Orthodox Church. We are here, everyone okay? Yeah. 250 meters, we are on the island of Santorini. So now, we are going to the first bite of the croissant, the first piece of the croissant. What I mean is that now, from here, we are going towards the north, to the village of Oia, Ia, 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 O. Okay? And I'm going to show you some beautiful sights from here. We need about 20 minutes from here to Ia. So I'm going to show you some beautiful sights and talk to you about this beautiful island. The first thing I want you to know is why the houses and the buildings are white. Before 1970 AD, I repeat, before 1970 AD, this island was not touristic at all. The people here were extremely poor. They were starving, actually because there was no water on the island. So in the, during the summer, it was getting extremely warm. So they had to paint their houses white so that the rays of the sun do not, you know, reflect so much heat. When the first tourists started to arrive here after the 70s, they started to like these white buildings on the volcanic uh, you know, cliffs, so it became something like fashion, you know what I mean? So Santorini started to become popular for the volcanic cliffs and the beautiful white houses, whitewashed houses. But the primary reason was practical. I'm going to tell you a little secret about the churches. We have 400 churches here on the island of Santorini from small ones to big ones. Little parenthesis, on your right you can see the airport. Small parenthesis, sorry. So, back to the churches. Do you know why we have 400 churches here? I don't want you to believe that all the inhabitants of Santorini worship God with passion. Some of them they do, but listen to this. When electricity was finally here, the government said, priority to the churches. Those who have churches are going to get electricity first and they're going to have a, a great discount. So many people owning land here started building miniature churches, you know, in the backyard in the land. So that's why we have so many churches on this island. Is everything clear so, uh, so far? I don't talk too much, am I? No. Everyone happy? Yes. yes. Thank you very, very much. So now from here, this is the principal road, and on your left, you can see the so-called caldera. I repeat, caldera. This is a Spanish word, and it means a huge pot, cooking pot. I'm going to tell you how a caldera is created. There used to be a volcano here on the left. After the eruption of the volcano, the whole mountain sank into the sea, and then we had the formation of this cyclical caldera. So this is what a caldera means. It's, like, it's, it's something <coughs> like a gulf. Is it clear? Yes. Thank you very much. Everybody loves the caldera of Santorini because of the of its views. The views are breathtaking. So see the uh, the capital of Santorini, Fira, is the village that you see straight on the left. So this is the capital of Santorini, Fira, straight 
on your left. The height of the caldera there is about 300 meters and the views are breathtaking. We are visiting this village after Ia. Ia, Ia, oh. <laughs> so, Ia, Ia, oh, this is the most touristic village of Santorini, the most popular. It's always extremely crowded. I'm going to tell you what to do and what <coughs> not to do there. But I'm going to give you this information before we arrive. Now, I just <coughs> want you to, to have a look at Fira, F-I-R-A, the capital of Santorini. The strange <coughs> rock that you see on the left, there is this strange rock with a strange shape that you see on the left, is called Skaros. I repeat, Skaros. There used to be a castle on there. I repeat, on that rock, Skaros, there used to be a big castle. You know why? Because we had a great problem with pirates. Pirates loved to come to Satorini because they could hide inside the cave houses of Satorini. These cave houses were built inside the soft volcanic soil of Santorini. So have a look at this rock and imagine that many, many, many centuries ago, there used to be a big castle up there. Do you know a pirate whose name was Barbarossa? Oh, yeah. Have you heard about him? So this guy, he was coming from Turkey. Huh? He was very wild. He loved coming to Santorini. When we had the pirate attacks here, the population of, of Santorini diminished and there were only 300 people left. So these pirates were a great problem. Look at the volcanic soil of Santorini and how the houses and the buildings are built on this type of soil. This is pumice soil. Everybody, I'm going to show you a tiny part of the volcanic soil of Santorini. I stole this from a cliff, so I want you to have a look at it. And then, because we don't have, have time to go to the beaches, I have with me a pebble, black pebble from the beach, and I want you to see it as well. So make sure everybody sees the black pebble and the tiny pumice stone of Santorini. I just want you to know that these materials are volcanic and that the whole island is covered with this type of materials. So, look at the trees. The trees are also painted white. Most of the trees here are eucalyptus trees, painted white. The reason why we paint the trees as well white is because this paint, this white paint, <coughs> contains, contains calcium and it keeps everything clean. So that's why we paint the trees white. <coughs> The windows, the doors are painted blue. Believe me, this is just fashion. Uh, blue and white 
like the dress I wear today, these are the colors of Greece. These are the colors of the Greek flag. So after the 70s, when Santorini became touristic, these became the most well-known colors of this island. The white and the electric blue. On your right, on the top of the mountain, I repeat, on your right, on the top of that mountain, lies the highest point of Santorini, 578 meters. Look on your right, ladies and gentlemen. On the top of that mountain, we have a monastery, and the name of the monastery is Prophet Elias. It's an Orthodox monastery. I repeat, the highest point of Santorini is 578 meters. And the island that you see straight on your right, this is a very beautiful island called Anafi. A-N-A-F-E. Anafi. It's not a volcanic island and well, it's only one hour and a half from Santorini, Anafi. Actually, there are many islands all around, like Eos, Sikinos, Naxos, Amorgos. So if you decide to visit Greece in the future, you can come to Santorini for three days, and then you can take the ferry, and in two hours, <coughs> visit another island. Now, from here, on the right, is the airport. On the left is Ia Ia O. <coughs> it means that we are very close. So, we are going straight to the north now. And the weather is going to be different. It's going to be a bit windy. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, today is a fantastic day. This is the ideal weather for Santorini. I think you are extremely lucky because usually here it's either very windy or it's getting extremely warm or it's getting extremely humid. But today, in my opinion, this is the ideal weather for Santorini. So make sure you enjoy the sun, the weather, because feels like June, like 14 June, and it's 14 October, I cannot believe this, huh? So, now, <laughs> on your left, you can see the backside of Fira, on your left. That village is called Kondohori. Don't try to repeat names, you know? I'm telling you the names just for your info. Greek language is difficult, you know? The words are too long. So, we are heading towards the north. As you can see, uh, the landscape is volcanic. And in order for this road to be created, thank you very much, uh, they had to use dynamite. Whatever was left from this soil, when the roads were made, went to the Suez Canal. So when the Suez Canal was being created, uh, Santorini sent a lot of construction materials from here because this soil of Santorini, which looks like sand, but it's not sand, was ideal for the construction of the Suez Canal. So this is what happened back in the past. Now, from here, we are heading towards the north. There are not many hotels here, villages, at least for the time being. But I'm going to show you the typical architecture of Santorini. I'm going to show you how the houses look like. And I'm going to explain you why the houses look like this. Because, as you're going to see in a while, 
most of the houses have curved roofs and this ladies and gentlemen has to do with the earthquakes here on the island of Santorini many earthquakes were happening so in 1956 July a catastrophic earthquake happened which unfortunately destroyed almost all the buildings and killed 53 inhabitants as a result the houses now most of them have curved roofs because in this way they are anti-seismic is it do i pronounce it correct anti-seismic seismic i'm sorry for this i'm greek uh, anti-seismic thank you very much ladies and gentlemen so you're going to notice that most of the buildings are white. Look on your la right, please. Small houses with curved roofs. This is a, a house on the right which has been destroyed due to the earthquake. On your left, in a while, you're going to see some windmills. These are not real windmills. These are small hotels. They are very beautiful, nevertheless. Look on your left, please. These are very beautiful hotels looking like windmills, like real windmills. And all the buildings that you see here, believe it or not, are small hotels. Typical Santorinian architecture. Small houses, white houses, curved roofs, tiny windows. The windows are small because during the summer they serve as natural air conditions because it's getting extremely windy here. Here on your right, inside the water here on the right, there is a huge <coughs> volcano. And the name of this volcano is Columbus. This is an active volcano. Now it's sleeping. We don't know when the volcano will wake up. I don't believe the volcano is going to wake up today. I have a positive feeling, so don't be scared. I just want you to know that this is an active volcano, Columbo. It's inside the water here on your right. If you want to see how the black beaches look like, then look on your right. See the black sand, the black stones. Here on your right, you can see a small sample of our popular black beaches. I have to warn you that this beach here is the beach for nudists. I'm saying, I'm telling you this because I had a tour and I was saying to my guests, please look at the beautiful black beaches here on the right. And one lady said, Joanna, I don't see only the black beaches. I see also a naked man. So I said, oh my God, now I have to warn my guests that the only new this, new this beach of Santorini is over here. So you can have a look at the black beaches, but if you see anything else, I don't, it's, uh, you know, it's not my responsibility. <laughs> this is where the new this beach is. Sorry, I have to warn you. Huh? <coughs> so uh, this is the Columbus area. As you can see, it's a very wild area. No hotels, at least for the time being. Many cactuses. And with the fruit of the cactuses, we make marmalades and we make also alcoholic spirits. These cactuses are called fragosica, which means the figs of the French. They have a fruit, look on your left. And with this fruit, we make alcoholic spirits here on the island of Santorini. So, we are not very far away from here. Look on your right to see the beach. Black pebbles, black sand. Santorini is not so popular for its beaches, to be honest with you. 
other islands are much more popular for them. Santorini is popular for the views, for the heights, for the blue dome churches, for the sunsets, not for the beaches. Nevertheless, I have to make sure that you see a small sample of the black beaches of Santorini. So, now, I'm going to tell you some things about E-I-E-I-O. I want you to listen to me very carefully. You cannot leave things in the past, but I want you to be extremely carefully with your personal belongings at EIA. My ladies, your bags or your bellies, be careful. Wash your mobiles, your wallets, everything. We have many big pokers and these people are smart. Okay? Number one. Number two, be very careful when you walk at IA. The streets are not in a good condition. I'm not here to torture anyone. You can walk as you like. I know that we are 49 people I'm not going to forget anyone at uh, IA. I'm going to go a bit faster because I'm your guide. Walk as you want. Is it clear? Yes. Number three. Number three. If you want to do shopping, better to do it at the other village, Fira. Here at IA, only the price of the souvenirs is okay. All the other stuff like dresses, hats, scarves, you know, jewelry, are more expensive. So be careful. Also, do not buy, my ladies, anything with black volcanic stones. You know, bracelets, earrings. They are not from Santorini. They are probably fake or from another volcano. I'm saying this to protect you, okay? Generally speaking, avoid buying things made with ingredients for, from the volcano, uh, okay, because I'm not 100% sure that they are original. Is it clear? Yes. At IA, we're going to spend about two hours, okay? I'm going to show you uh, two places near the parking where you can go and relax a bit before we go back. <laughs> If you want to use the restroom, there are public restrooms at IA where you have to pay one euro. But you can go to a cafe, to a cafe or to an ice cream place, uh, grab an ice cream and use the bathroom. The most popular ice cream place of Santorini is located at IA. And the name of this place is Lolita. So I'm going to show you Lolita. And there is a toilet there without any stairs, you know what I mean? Because we have stairs almost everywhere here on the island of Santorini. <laughs> the other thing I want to tell you, who loves beer? Who is drinking beer? Okay, listen to me carefully. We have two breweries here on the island of Santorini. We produce three beers. I'm going to tell you the names of the beers. Beer number one is called Crazy Donkey. Beer number two is called Blue monkey. Beer number three, because I'm a very serious guide, I'm very shy to say the name to my groups. This is the most popular beer. So I always ask some help from one of my guests. I'm going to tell you, sir, the name of the beer and you say it to the group. <laughs> Lazy ass. <laughs> this is the most popular beer of Santorini. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm, I'm shy. You know, I don't feel comfortable. You can also find t-shirts here with this brand. I'm going to show you a place close to the parking, which is called Buzeri. So if you want to have some cocktails, wines, beers, lazy, dot, 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 beer, then you go there. So I'm going to show you two places. Lolita for ice cream, coffee, and restroom, 
and then boozery for beers, cocktails, whatever. These places are close to the parking. They are not at, uh, you know, the caldera side of Ia. Is it clear? So the first thing we're going to do is that, unfortunately, we have to walk a bit to go to the village. Then I'm going to show you Lolita and Buzeri and the public restrooms, of course. And then we have to walk for five more minutes to go up to the caldera. When we arrive at the caldera, I'm going to give you directions and then I'm going to give you free time. Is it clear? Once you come up the steps and you're in this little square with the blue church and the beautiful view behind you, the tour guide said, go to the right, turn left at the first blue domed church and then go down. You'll see all the blue domes of Santorini like on the postcards. If you go left, there are less people, more little places to sit and eat and relax. So there you go. There's the tip of the day. Right across from the gold and silver store after the blue church. It's where you go, down that alley. And you'll find all the blue domes. There's a lot of people there also. Be ready. down the uneven road. We almost died at the bottom just now. We're gonna get back on the bus where we're going to Sierra next. Sierra. There's our timer saying, get your butt back to the boat. <laughs> or not the boat, the, uh, the bus. Right, we made it to Sierra, and now just gonna walk around and look at the shopping. Mom wants to walk in the shade.
725. And the most important is uh, mixed by hand. Made by hand, how much do they run? For example, because you have a different prices, mm -hmm. you want for the eye here is 55. 55. 55. Okay, They're very pretty. And they have also one, two, three, four pieces uh, specific for the island. Sandorin. And yes, this is a blue dome. The, blue, the church with the blue dome. Mm -hmm. You find it in this one. You see it? All right, so here's the Pandora. You'll see it right when you come up from the central. You'll take the stairs and then come all the way straight up here. So they have the same evil eye charm as everywhere else. Let me see if I can't show it to you. There we go. I got it yesterday in Athens. They have quite a few special charms for Santorini made by a local artist, Molina. I've actually seen them online, but I wasn't sure where people were getting them from. So we bought a non Pandora charm, which is not normal for us. I might put it on a bracelet by itself because of course, I like to keep my main Pandora bracelets exclusives, but it is the heart uh, Pandora charm for the Pandora bracelet with the little blue roofs for Santorini. And it says Santorini on the back. So we made an exception. We go back to our tour now. All right, we are at the winery to do a little wine tasting. And we are gonna see what there is to see here. Let's see. Say hi, mom. What? Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> so it's a dessert wine. I'm not a fan, but mom, are you liking it? I like all wine. All wine is good. And the view is great. We were saying on the tour that this is how they grow the vines here in baskets. And then the berries actually develop in the basket. That's pretty cool. But we are just about done at the winery. And we will be headed back to the ship. Do you like the wines? Yes! 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 yes. I think Texas is the the gentleman from Texas. He's the best Yamas. Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do the test now. Huh? Count to three. I can't wait. One, two, three. Yamas! <laughs> My God, believe it or not, it's louder, isn't it? <laughs> it's louder. Oh my God. You know the wines of Santorini contain a lot of alcohol, yes! 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 yes. yes. But? Very nice place with the wine around! Oh, it's here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Pass it around! Oh my god! 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 La 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 And you know, I'm here up like this without wine! <laughs> so, now we're gonna start going down there is a small problem that the ferry is coming now from Athens. So the tender is going to pick you up after 3.30. But I believe that the point is that you get back to your ship without going back to the old port. Yes. We are going down so you can admire some uh, last views of Santorini. And because I have all of you here uh, for the time being in my bus, 
I would like to ask you if you had a good time. Yes. Yeah, what you it was yeah. great. Do I see smiles? Yeah. Yes. I want you. I want to let you know that when my guests smile, uh, I go home and I feel extremely happy. I mean, your smiles become my smiles. My oh. smile. So I want you to know this. So I would like to thank you for your smiles. Thank you for your beautiful, positive energy. Do you have a disco in the carnival? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Do you have a... All right. Go and dance some disco. I, I love disco. That's why. I'm, I'm the Bonnie M. I'm the Bonnie M and Abba woman. You know. So what I recommend, go back to your cruise ship. Get, get out in the, in the evening, just listen to some music, do some oppa, and always remember that yamas should come from the heart. Okay? So, Evharisto, it means thank you. And, okay, have a fantastic Vacation in the <coughs> Carnival cruise ship. Opa! Opa! Thanks to Adonis, a driver. Thank yes. You Woo. Yeah, thank you. Oh my God! Thank you. Do, you yeah. want, do you want me to thank him now, or when we go down? <laughs> no, no, no. We are getting down. Huh? No way. Oh my God! I can't believe that guy We are. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, you know that Greeks are not good drivers at all. I'm telling you. So, so for Adonis, thank you. Thank you. Woo! Yes. Opa! Opa! Thank you very much, everybody. Oh my god, we made it. Yes. All right, Mom, is the, the scenic view from the switchbacks better than the donkeys? No. Would no. you rather be on a donkey? No. Would you rather be walking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Mom yes. hates heights. I do not like to be on the side of mountains. I lived on the side of mountains. I was say she lived on the side of mountains for years. <clears throat> Voluntarily. It was not voluntary. It was it against was, my wishes. It was voluntarily. Totally against my Alright, we're almost there. We're gonna get on um, choice. You notice I moved to Flat Alabama. The last tender and then on the boat. All right, y'all, so we are back on the ship. It was very interesting because the tender that was supposed to take us from the new port to the old port. And then we got on a new tender to get back on the ship. They actually changed it and they just came and got us at the, at new, the new port, port. and took what? us to the ship. So it was win, much win. faster, which is great because as good as the tour was today, we are tired. We, we are pooped. We are beyond pooped. But it was a very good day. Um, this the only is problem was the tender. Yes, this had morning. A sauna. No. On oh, the way on back. the way back. It was very hot it was on the very tender. Hot. No but circulation. Getting off the ship this morning was a bit of fun since we were supposed to be here at seven and our our tour through Sanders Tours was, was at, at nine. nine and we then we get didn't here get here till we couldn't get off the ship till nine. So we were all worried. There was two hundred of us that uh, we weren't gonna make yes. the tour. But they made it work and our tour guide Joanna was the Best. Awesome. We loved her. Yeah. I'm very glad we got her bus. Oh, there was the best. four tour buses, and we just randomly got on hers. And Fifty and, people in each bus. Yes, and some people on the other tour or buses said their tour guides were not as good. So if you're coming to Sandorini and you can get Joanna, she's the best. You yeah, what, you've seen her. What venture? Yes, she's with Venture. Venture uh, Tours or Venture Excursions. I'll put it on the screen if we can yeah. remember. But she was very, very good. Um, this is the first time we've ever booked a Sandra's tour. We usually yeah. do Carnival, but we've heard really good things we've done, about We've done them. a lot of, of things through we've Viator. We've done a lot of things through Viator. We really like using Viator to book tours. Um, but a lot of people have yes. said they really like Sanders tours. We haven't heard a lot of negative about them. Yeah, she's really good. I know she's been having some issues lately with a few of the tours that have been 
or not tours, a few of the ports that have been canceled. So that did give me a little bit of an uneasy feeling. But every single first hand out of their mouth to our ears um, review for her tours have been great. And yes. today was great. We had a really good time. Yeah, really and good. I, th I think it was probably <laughs> the best <laughs> tour we could have done today. Yeah, it was really good. So it was really good. Either way, we are checked in for dinner and we are going to go get some uh, food because we're hungry. We ended up not getting lunch because we were shopping too hard. We just ate. Our, Mom always brings snacks. I always bring snacks. We had snacks. And then we did stop a place and get and some ice cream. wine. Well, ice cream and, oh. and wine. So we're fine. Yes, we did get ice cream. It we can sorbet, stand to miss some meals. Don't worry. we got worry. wine. And they gave us cheese and yeah. olives so. and little finger things. But we're going to get real food now. Yes. And we will see y'all tomorrow. We are in Olympus and we are not doing Olympia, a big Olympia, Olympia. Olympia. We're not doing a big fancy excursion. So no, if you want to come sleep. on the... Uh, sleep in girls explore the port tour shop a little bit i'll leave Take the link below <laughs> bye y'all bye